We chose the theme Equality and Difference this year, actually in the summer of 2016, at the, the height of the presidential election. And even at that time, it was becoming very apparent that there were some deep divisions in the country over the, the meaning of equality and the connection between equality and individual and group differences. We thought, well, we really want to do a series that will kind of approach some of these questions, allow us to think together about the meaning and the value of equality. And we wanted to ask some questions like, what does it mean to treat one another as equals in moral or political or social life? Um, does treating people as equals require equality of treatment? Or might it sometimes require differential treatment? And who should be treated as equal in different domains, right? What, what makes one entitled to equality of treatment? Now, the, the recent events in Charlottesville, I think, have made these questions even more <laughs> salient for us. And one of the things that I think was highlighted in those events was that not everyone is committed to a fundamental principle of basic equality, unfortunately. The idea that everyone, right, should be treated or counted as morally equal, regardless of their race or their gender or their sexual orientation or their religion or their national origin. That fundamental moral principle is not up for debate in our series. That's, that's sort of the, the fundamental premise from which we start the series. But even if you are committed to a fundamental principle of moral equality, um, there is room for reasonable disagreement about what that fundamental commitment actually entails or requires. Uh, so for example, you might be committed to moral equality, but disagree about whether that means the government should sponsor policies that lead to greater economic equality, for example. Or you might be committed to fundamental moral equality, but disagree about whether institutions of higher learning should pursue policies of affirmative action. You might agree about moral equality, but still be unclear about how much we should accommodate individual differences when it comes to religion or uh, sexual orientation or cultural differences. So, so again, it seems to me that, that it's important to see that, that everyone can be in good faith in being committed right, to the importance of equality and yet still have some moral disagreements about what that means on the ground concretely for our political and social practices. So our aim this year is really just to explore some of these issues and to get some speakers in who can raise some questions. Um, we have a whole lineup of different speakers coming in that are going to address religious differences and diversity, the importance and the value of tolerance, um, questions about the role of equity in medical research, um, and, and a variety of other, other issues.